What's up, people? It's your host, Arkansas Jeff. All right, as you see in the title and in the thumbnail, this is an update on my truck. If you watch my previous videos, you saw on uh, the very first day of Mud Nationals, um, I was loading up my truck or loading up the four wheeler and side by side. And as dumb as I am, I drove my four wheeler into the tailgate of my truck putting a good size dent in it to me i mean the dent was monstrous but everybody else seems to tell me oh it's not it wasn't that bad it could have waited um along with some scratches on it now yeah they're right they're actually right it was it could have waited it wasn't extremely bad um but this is my brand new truck so every single time i've seen that made me sick to my stomach and i just wanted to get it i'd much rather pay the deductible on my insurance sounds stupid i know then to just see that every single time because every single time i saw it it just i mean it put, made me sick so i went ahead and had uh johnny's pro auto body repair it for me that following monday or not the monday after mud nationals but the monday following that like two mondays after mud nationals i took it up to johnny's pro auto body and went to arkansas dropped it off and he gave me a he told me it'd be ready by friday that friday now Oh, I apologize for the runny nose. But anyway, um, so I dropped it off and he gave me five days thinking it would be, which actually seemed very quick to me. And he actually would have had it done, had these 2019 Ram Rebels, uh, for people who are here for the Rebel that have one, just a heads up, the parts on it are always on back order. So uh, I, was, I was surprised it was going to be that quick. And um, he called me Wednesday, give me an update, told me, oh man, it's gonna be ready, just come on by. Cause I was told him, I was like, I'll call you when I get off work Friday, make sure it's ready. He's like, no, nah, it's gonna be ready. We're gonna have it ready third tomorrow, which would have been Thursday, And uh, but we won't clean it. Which speaking of, they did clean my truck. And I, when they told me that they was gonna clean it, I was thinking they're just gonna clean the tailgate, you know, just around where, where they worked at. But no, they cleaned my truck inside and out, which was phenomenal because like I said, I just got back from mud days. I I know I took a week off. I actually was cleaning my house and stuff. Never got to my truck. My truck was covered in mud. Now, if you've never been to Hilarosa, Rosa, the mud down there from mud days was, I mean, it was good mud. It was, when it dries, it's like concrete. It just stays there. Um, and it was all over my seats, the my truck completely. So uh, I know they had fun cleaning it. I wasn't looking forward to it, but so glad they did. Now, back to what i was saying um so they they cleaned it and everything and uh well friday when i got off i didn't even bother to call him because he told me not no need he, they're gonna have it ready so i go there get all the way there and then they're like well um it's actually gonna be monday before we uh get it done because the decals on the tailgate was uh on back order so he's like it'll be monday just come by monday pick it up they actually gave me a loaner that friday just so i can make it through the weekend <clears throat> so when i get off work at monday at four i got a voicemail telling me hey it's not the decals came in but the handle on the tailgate did not come in so it was going to be wednesday because it was on back order now that this time i'm sitting here thinking uh which i wasn't mad at by no means because i was like yeah i knew that parts would be on back order and didn't expect it as fast as he was saying and when he told me wednesday would be ready i was actually expecting something else to be come up or that they actually not get the parts by that time because the back order for these ram rebel or parts on ram rebels are horrible i've read so many horrible how long wait stories on facebook and or on the forums and on other web pages that i actually didn't expect them to have it that wednesday but sure enough that wednesday he had it done i picked it up it was clean um go ahead and show you what i got going on when i picked it up as when i dropped it off he told me he's gonna worry uh, fix this uh scratch on it for me they did buff it tried to do everything they could but as you can see that's deep in there so he told me that i could drop it off today is saturday he told me i could drop it off this next coming saturday and they're going to see try to fix it up a little bit better than that as far as the tailgate itself this is the end result of having it repaired as you see no scratches or the paint's good they fixed the handles no more dent now only complaint i have or not a, really a complaint is if you can see right there it has a pretty good size gap on this side it don't i can push right there no movement 
come over here and push on it and you can see so when i take my truck in to have the scratch worked on i will be mentioning asking them about that on top of that these are new letters and the m already has a scratch on it and that wasn't done by me so i'm not sure if they was when they was opening it up in plastics and they cut it but I got my truck fixed that's all that matters on top of that if, with that m being messed up like that i did tell them because those those little decals are expensive that end was 50 bucks itself so whenever they took my old ones off i told them i wanted it and as you can see all those little for those of you that want to do a debadging on your ram rebel every single one of these are holes in the bed of your truck so you're gonna have to do uh, some fill-ins if you want to do that all right now that's as far as that's as it goes for my for what i caused now since we're going doing we're doing an update on my truck if you can say i'm being monotone because i'm trying to not be too loud because there's people prepping for we got our easter egg drop today don't know what an easter egg drop is that's where they take a crop duster fly it over the head overhead and uh just drop a whole bunch of eggs for kids to run out into the ball field and pick up but back to my truck now since we're doing an update if you watch the should have came from the factory this way video you would know that you remember that i had gotten the the bed liner and the the tie down installed along with the bed divider slash extender only problem is whenever that stuff came in or whenever they did that they was telling me that the led lights was they had a problem with them couldn't actually get them to work correctly so they didn't install them on my truck yet as you can tell now though i do have them installed and how funny story with that situation right there is they told me oh we get there's a the wiring harness is incorrect so we have to wait for the chrysler to fix come up with a correct one or one that works now that was back when i first bought my truck i bought my truck on halloween um i think it was like a, not even a month four months that later whenever they was telling me all this stuff and when I went to get my wheels wrapped, driving to Jonesboro, which is a little over an hour north of me, um, I was like, well, might as well call them, call the dealership about my LEDs. Speaking of my wheels wrapped, if you can see that right there, it's only getting worse. It won't be too much longer before I have to get that completely off. But until it gets too bad, I'm going to leave it on. But anyway, when I called the dealership and asked them about this, I spoke with Chance, who is now my representative since the my previous representative got fired. Um, and I asked him, I was like, hey man, have you heard anything? He's like, no, we ain't heard nothing on it. We're just waiting for Chrysler to come up with a new harness. I was like, well, that's the same situation. Have you had any dealings or, you know, discussions with them on how it's coming? And he responded to me, oh no, they know that there's a problem. There's no need for us to even ask them about it because they know it's a problem. They're working on it. And so it made me ask him, I was like, well, did you ever mention to them about my truck, how it was supposed to come from factory and everything? You know, like, did you bring up my situation, period? And, and he's like, no, there wasn't no need because they know that there is a problem. And so he had no discussion with them, never even checked on it for me, um, which ups, was getting me upset. And uh, because to me, you don't just sit back and hope somebody knows there's a problem and he's never even at here he's telling me he never even spoke to with chrysler so he don't he, he's just assuming that they they know there's a problem or everything but what didn't get or what i i failed to understand was he's telling me that exact same wiring harness is what they use in factory now if i would have got if it would have came from factory like it was supposed to have let me uh that that wiring the exact same wire wiring harness that the dealership would install would work completely or work correctly not completely but correctly but if the dealership installs it then it won't work correctly it it doesn't work at all more or less so so i'm like i said i'm not gonna lie i was getting upset i asked him i was like so you're telling me that i have to either wait and pray that chrysler eventually just fixes it it's a problem that you're not mentioning to them or uh well, well i didn't tell y'all he told me i could either wait or they would install it incorrectly but i could never complain about it i could never 
have them fix it even if when Chrysler does come up with a wiring harness that's correct that I could not go in there and get it swapped out for the correct one that would work without having to actually pay for it like I like a normal customer would uh, a customer that didn't get it for his truck so um, I, I asked my like you tell me I could wait and pray that they come up with one no matter how long it takes if it takes them one one day to one year to ten years I'm just gonna sit back and wait without ever mentioning it to y'all or I could come in there and get the what y'all have installed but it will not work he's like well it will work it just only works in reverse yeah who who uh who wants to turn their bed light on because usually like if i want i want it so that way i can turn it on and i can see what's in my bed so i could grab whatever i'm looking for i'm not gonna put my truck in reverse just so i could be back here with lights on that's retarded to me um yeah I'll, I'll get run over just i like red river dodge and I actually like the representative I have, Chance, but man, that's just ignorance to me. And that really put me over the edge. So I I did the typical white person thing. I want your manager. And he uh, responded to me. Oh, I appreciate you driving by. Uh, he responded to me with, uh, oh, uh, well, uh, my manager's busy, but I, I can have them call you back in like 30 minutes. That's fine with me because uh, at this point I was not getting nowhere with him his solution was just not to say nothing to Chrysler or whoever it is that makes the wiring harness and to me when I mentioned to him I was like if you're telling me the wiring harness works from factory but don't work from dealership that then it sounds like to me the dealership is hooking it up incorrectly if it only works in reverse um, but no he, he refused to believe that so not even 30 minutes he told me 30 minutes for his supervisor to call me back less than five minutes chance himself is calling me back he's calling me hey man we've got great news we figure out a solution we got a hold of chrysler and they told us the correct way to hook up this wiring harness wow now i've been this was uh like i said when i went to get my wheels wrapped the day i went to drop my truck off and uh i've been waiting since halloween to have had this solution and had all he had to do was call them from the from the beginning like i thought he did and uh we would have been good to go but no so to make up for it they went ahead and gave me a free oil change when i dropped it off to uh get those lights put in but now they work perfectly uh button you i could turn it on from inside my truck now so with the leds as far as the bed utility group i'm good now back whenever i took my truck to get the spray and bed liner they gave me the option of letting the dealership do it or they would pay an outside uh body shop to do it they swore to buy outside body shop was nowhere near as good as the dealership so as stupid as i was i went with the dealerships at my nationals i loaded up a generator in the bed of my truck not even a huge generator a small generator and as you can see right here it's not doing that great but i will try to get that fixed myself and uh it, it, i'm not too messed up over it. i need to get it fixed before i because as you can see there was you can see the paint and there's a few little chip spots but i need to go ahead and get that uh do little touch-up jobs but my recommendation don't get your bed liner from the dealership it's crappy at least red river dodge's dealership is crappy um yeah so that's as far as my updates go for my truck today oh i do want to tell you which this video is going a lot longer than i expected um i am working on a a video i'm very excited about it is a parody video for one of the rap songs that i've heard i heard so much at mud nationals now it, get that sun out of my eyes you watch my channel plenty of, or if you watch my channel i've never done a parody video this will be my first one and in my head this video is going to be awesome um i came up with the lyrics myself however i'm not a rapper i won't even be in the video uh but it will be uploaded on my channel it is my video and i hope y'all like it i did have to outsource it so i used fiverr fiverr.com to get somebody to rap my song it, it was pretty cheap it only cost me 25 dollars but that should be it for today's video y'all will have to look out for that next video though hopefully uh he should have it done by sunday which is tomorrow 
and I'll have it uploaded towards the beginning of next week hopefully it just depends on how good it looks all right if you like today's video click that like button comment down below let me know what you thought about it and if you have not done so already go ahead and click that subscribe button I'm at 301 today and only trying to grow all right later